hi everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to today's video i hope you're doing well so today i'm here to do a kind of full face of makeup um of like a couple of brand new products that i've purchased so a lot of these are not new to the market so it's not like oh like first impressions it's more kind of super drug have a free for two offer on and i needed to just buy some stuff so i have a handful of new products so a couple of old products that I thought I would just incorporate in this video anyway just to kind of finish up the look but um, I've already done my primer because I don't have a new primer so I use the Essence Cranberry Spray that I've used previously on my video so we're going to go straight in with a foundation so the new product that I have is the um, Maybelline Fit Me in um, the matte poreless never tried this before I've heard good things um, I've got the shade 014 and of course, because we are still in a pandemic, all the testers and everything were not open. So I can only hope that this is my shade. Um, they have a nice selection of Maybelline, which is very good um, when it comes to foundation. So let's hope this does fit me. Fit me? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> let's hope it does fit me. Um, so let's get this on my brush, which the brush that I'm always using is my Beauty Bay um i think it's called like in the buff yeah in the buff brush which i love because it's just such a good um just a good brush to be honest um i kind of go in between using a brush and using um a beauty sponge um i think it just whenever i can be bothered to wet the sponge to be honest i know it takes like five seconds but um yeah the brush is always like my number one choice in all honesty um and I think this shade is actually quite good. I think I've kind of matched myself decently for once. And again, because there were no testers, <laughs> I couldn't really just test anything out. But I've bought myself on lots of foundations over the years um, and always kind of gotten a bit close to it. So I'm hoping this one won't really oxidise or anything. Um, I can't see that this is a very full coverage. I can only see this is kind of a mid coverage. Um, foundation I might just get another squeeze to see if I can just add another kind of layer and I believe this was I think it was around like seven pounds oh um 7.99 in Superdrug it's such a weird kind of price when it comes to foundations because a lot of them can be like expensive and I mean I'm always used to revolution prices and that's I wish everything was revolution prices but sadly it's not but I mean seven pounds for a foundation I think you get 30 ml milliliters or whatever you want to call it inside which isn't too bad I can only feel that it won't run out too quickly because I probably won't need too much but again I do prefer full coverage um this foundation is meant to be for normal to oily skin I mean I'm I get quite oily but I don't know if that's more due to the heat and the sweat <laughs> as opposed to it being actual oils um, <clears throat> and I guess they really don't have anything for like sensitive skin I guess because I mean have they made a foundation for sensitive skin I don't know um, hopefully they will one day I don't know how they're gonna incorporate that but we'll see um, we're going in with a concealer next I'm going in with the elf um, hydrating camo concealer satin finish this is in the shade light sand um soon i will be doing a full face of elf makeup um which i'll probably film in a couple of days hopefully i'm just kind of you know accumulating a couple of more things oh this is really light <laughs> um i'm gonna put it in places i feel i need concealing which is like everywhere um and again this is super light because i couldn't find my match um, but I've only heard very good things about this concealer and it hopefully it would work really well with the foundation um, which I love it's one of my new favorite foundations that I use so I'm just kind of stippling this in to blend it in and not just like <laughs> poke my eye out so far so good again it's a little bit I think it's more on the kind of yellow side for me which i think is okay but obviously because i have pigmented skin it's quite difficult to get the right kind of shade for me um 
it's fine I mean we'll see if it lasts a bit later on I'm just gonna set my face down with an old powder because this revolution block well, I keep on calling it like brick <laughs> it's essentially like a brick um this is always like my good go-to kind of powder um and I haven't purchased any new powders so this is probably the best one that I'm going to use um and I believe yeah the next few products that I have are not new but that's okay because again I don't have a complete <laughs> full face there's just a couple of things that I bought that I really wanted to like just add in a new video um like I said like the elf stuff I will be making a whole video on so that will be coming soon um <clears throat> I think when it comes to this blush let's try we'll try a new shade I guess the, all the four shades I haven't tried so this pink one on the end I have not tried um and it's very shimmery <laughs> so let's see if oh god oh wow okay I am um, just I just get turned into a clown like straight away thing is I don't go soft when it comes to blushes because you guys if you guys have been watching my videos you know I like to look blush look blushed um because you know <laughs> me having red skin is not enough <laughs> for me um but yeah this this set is always really good I mean I got it some beauty bay for I think they're about 10 pounds and you get like four shades um and then like I said you get different palettes for different shades of your skin tone as well which is fantastic highlighter um I guess this is kind of new but I have used it in one of my previous videos which is testing out Primark makeup so this is the diamond bomb highlighter bomb um from Primark <laughs> essentially and I only used it once and um well it's very powdery since I remember um but it is quite nice so I didn't want to just like not use it again oh wow I think that's a bit too much <laughs> um let's just blend this out a little bit because I don't look super duper crazy but you guys know I love me some highlighter so this is definitely a good choice for today and again it's just three pounds I love Primark makeup I mean I mean you can go wrong <laughs> with makeup but with cheap makeup sometimes you can do pretty good so I'm just gonna um, prime my eyelids with the Prime and Lock by Revolution and I've used this a couple of times now and I think it's actually done a really good job um, kind of just you know being a good primer for my eyelids because um, you know when I'm testing out a palette I do want to you know use it till its full potential but I am liking to add you know the primer on top just so it kind of gives it a bit more of a oomph an oomph feeling to it so I'm just gonna rub this rub this I guess I'm just blending it in opposed to just rubbing it in and I'm just like to use my finger as well just to kind of tap everything down so I'm not getting rid of the actual product but just tapping it in and then letting it dry because when it's wet it doesn't take to the shadows as well um and I feel like when it dries like when you use the P. Louise base it's always good to use it when it's kind of settled in after like a minute um just so you can use it properly but for a palette I've got a new palette um so I'm using a nice ugh, dropping it around a nice cheap revolution palette and when I say cheap this is on sale for five pounds and so I got it part of the uh free for two as well so I'm very excited to try this it is the um I think it's called like wild yeah no sorry it's the fierce wild animal palette and when I saw these in Superdrug I was like for five pounds uh, you can't go wrong and now I'm trying to open it and it can go wrong so let's hope I don't break a nail I'm just gonna open this okay I don't know why that was so difficult <laughs> it's for me to open just one palette but this shade selection is very nice and like I said it was five pounds I don't know if it'll be five pounds when and when you buy it but I think they might be kind of trying to get rid of them I'm not sure um but I do love me a revolution uh eyeshadow palette as you guys know because I seem to add revolution to every single one of my videos even if it's concentrating on one thing I talk about revolution um so yeah this has got a nice selection there's no names as per usual so I'll tend to just like point and use them but there's a nice section of um some shimmers and some mattes as well um yeah you can't really just nice to do like a nice simple 
look so what i'm going to do is test it out so what i'm going to go in first with this nice matte shade just here and i'm going to make that my kind of transition shade um i'm just going to use one of my flat brushes tap off the excess because we don't want anything to fall out on the face and trying to not block your view Let's just tap tap this in I mean, I've never really had a Revolution palette to kind of fail me, apart from, actually no, apart from that rabbit thing that I got, <laughs> the little pet, the rabbit thing, which I used once and I think I got rid of it because it was pretty, just not very good. Um, it was very cute, like the packaging is fantastic because it was the shape of a rabbit. Um, but you know, not always judge packaging bikes cover because it could be terrible but when it comes to like revolution their um packaging is pretty good um when they're not ripping off other people allegedly um <laughs> so you know the the quality is always obviously what you're looking for in a palette um this one shade itself is pretty good i think i think it would kind of still make the same kind of result if it was without the propner um <clears throat> but so far it's quite a nice shade even though there's no names <laughs> couldn't tell you the name of it um and now let's go in with I'm gonna go with like a darker shade on the corner to kind of emphasize um the, sh the corner so i'm going to use that one which looks like it might be a bit of a gray gray brown shade and if you hear that beeping i apologize it's um i think it's that fire alarm noise um because i think the battery is running out and it's very annoying because it only just started as I finished my evening so let me just tap into the corner and blend it in because it's quite a nice shade actually it's a nice kind of chocolate shade very nice and then I'm going to go in with a shimmer because we love a shimmer. So we're going to go in with this corner one just here because this really speaks to me. <laughs> so I'm going to just take, take, yeah, just tap it on. Basically, let's build it up and blend. Yeah, this is pretty nice. I mean, I have to dip in a few times, but that's not too bad. So far the foundation's looking really nice, like when I'm looking in a mirror, um, it actually looks really good. You probably can't see it that well on my camera, I apologise, but it's not looking too bad. And I really want to use an eyeliner because I have a new eyeliner, so I'm hoping it will look good. Yeah, I mean this palette is pretty good, I mean, what what can I say apart from... It's cheap, it's cheerful, it's revolution. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to now try the Collection Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner. This was, I think it was like £2 <laughs> or £2.50. So what I'm going to do, do this off camera and be right back because I'm not very good at doing this while not concentrating. <laughs> right, so the eyeliner looks really good. It glided on super quickly, really well. Um, and yeah, it cost what, £2.50, £2, and I really like it. So to end the whole look, I'm going to go in with a lip, um, obviously, <laughs> and this is the um, Revolution Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon in the shade Ruby. I've wanted to try these for so long, and I think they were £5 or £3, so I'm just going to put this on and see how they feel. Because when you think of a crayon... Um, might be a little bit drying, but let's see. Not too bad. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I mean, I'm not sure how it would feel over the course of a day. It would probably just dry off um and when you're drinking something it will just transfer over but um, 
my throat is super dry, I don't know why. But yes, this is my finished look using a couple of new products here and there by Superdrug, um, which I'm really happy about because they're really cute. Um, I like everything, the foundation looks really good on me. Looking up closer in my mirror, it looks much better than it does probably on the camera. Um, palette's really good, um, the concealer's pretty good, I mean that I could really notice if it's not hidden in my bags, I doubt it. Um, eyeliner is really really good um yeah we have a success but yes don't forget to like and subscribe if you have enjoyed my videos um because i upload every time i get a chance to film um which is kind of sporadically <laughs> whenever i'm just like i'll film today i'll just come into my room and start doing it so yeah i'm gonna try and upload a little bit more um apologies that they turn up at like the most late in the evening because my uploading is terrible for my internet but yeah Again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're well. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.